Hey guys, I am back with another video um, and I'm super, super excited about this topic. But first, if you guys, this is your first time watching any of my YouTube videos, my name is Jasmine Tate um, and I teach people, entrepreneurs, individuals, how to launch a successful six-figure and beyond cleaning company. Um, please continue to like, share, subscribe, do all the things of all the things. And I appreciate you guys' support, like always. Um, so let's get in this, okay? Because I've seen this topic, or I've seen this question asked a lot in our free Facebook group. And if you're not in there, join it, get in there now. Um, it's just a really good idea to be, you know, amongst a group of like-minded individuals that you guys are all trying to build your successful uh, cleaning companies. And then you can ask questions. I host bi-weekly live Q and A's. So you wanna be in there. I'm gonna put the link in the bio and you guys can join, but join, like, like really join, okay? I'll see you there. <laughs> but no, for real, this topic, I've seen this topic a lot, right? And basically, I'm going to be talking about why your guys' leads are not closing, okay? Because this is this is how we collect our coins is by getting these leads and getting these clients. So I'm going to be talking about the three main reasons of why your leads are not closing. And then I'm going to share a bonus one at the end. Like I just got off a, conf I just got off a consultation call with a client on this very same strategy. So you want to be there, okay? So stay till the end. <laughs> so first thing first, okay, you guys, we have to understand that Thumbtack, Yelp, Google, like these, this is their business, right? Their business and their job is to place their clients in front of the best service professionals, okay? They don't want their clients waiting fast because if they're on Thumbtack looking for a service professional, Thumbtack needs them to stay there, need them to find a, a service professional and book and be happy. Because if not, what they're going to do, they're going to go to Yelp or they're going to go to Google or whichever type of service provider that's out there. So when we are receiving um, notifications and bids from these service these lead generation sites, specifically, I'm talking about Thumbtack. Y'all know I love Thumbtack. Thumbtack is beta me. Yes, I love the other ones but Thumbtack is bay. I mean, I literally just had a new client that um, said my first month, I just had a, a goal to do $1,000 my first month in business. And she was like, I, sh I knew that you were laughing when you read this message. I was like, girl, that's, you don't blow that out the water. And she was like, I did. She's like, I did 1,000 my first week and I've done 1,000 every week since then. So why not Thumbtack? I mean, like, why are you guys not trying Thumbtack? What, what, are you, what's, what you waiting for? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, but with these leads, the reason why you guys are not closing these leads is because y'all ain't got no urgency. Y'all taking way too long to respond to these people, okay? Way too long. Way. Okay, your response, your level of urgency needs to be like on 10. I mean, like you need to stop, drop, and roll like a high school fire drill, okay? I mean, that, that y'all remember them, stop, drop, and roll, okay? All my new school kids, y'all may not remember them, but I remember the stop, drop, and roll fire drills. That's the level of urgency that you need to have when this lead comes in the phone. I mean, like stop what you're doing, cooking, cleaning, doing your hair, washing clothes, giving your baby Johnny a bath. Well, maybe not baby Johnny a bath. Let's take him out the tub, then respond. <laughs> but that's the level of urgency that you guys need to have. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I want my hope is that when I'm responding fast, like literally notification, response, that the client is still on the phone. So that way she can respond back. And she'll be like, oh my God, you responded so fast. I'm like, oh yes, of course. How can I help you, okay? Because if not, I know what she's about to do. She's gonna put that phone down or she's gonna get distracted on another phone. She's gonna put that phone down and she's gonna go about her day, respond to all her messages. Baby Johnny wants a peanut butter jelly sandwich, right? The husband just got home and so on and so on. She's going to get distracted. And then she, when she finally remembers that she put in a request for a house cleaning, she's going to pick up her phone. She's going to see all the notifications, y'all. And what do you think she's going to do? She's going to either pick the one with the most reviews, most jobs, highest review score, or the cheapest one. And if you don't fall in none of them categories, you need to be first, okay? 
Thumbtack sends out three different kind of leads. I mean, besides the opportunity leads where you personally go bid on those, be mindful when you pick when you bid on an opportunity bid. It the word is opportunity, and you're gonna pay extra for that opportunity. Okay, click the like a little button that says see more. Click on that button. Make sure you guys look at that price before you actually um, put a bid on there. Now you won't get charged a bid unless they picked you, but just be mindful that those opportunity bids cost more, okay? But besides those, Thumbtack's gonna send you three. I don't know all the, I don't know like the direct name of them, y'all, okay? But the one is gonna send you worth like a direct lead, where they're gonna send you the lead based upon the criteria of what the client is looking for. So let's say you put your criteria in like a service, you know, four bedroom home, we do deep clean, move in, move out, whatever the criteria that they chose, they're gonna send it out to two to three companies that offer those same services that they're looking for. The next one is when the client only picks you. Those are my favorite because I know that she's not currently communicating with anybody else, at least on that platform. The next one would be um, like a direct booking. Now those also you pay extra for, but when they contact and you get that notification, like the service has already been booked. They'll pick the day, the time, and the service. And all you need to do is confirm and collect that card so you can get them coins, okay? Send them that good old link. And then the, the booking is already taken care of. So you don't have to worry about closing the lead. Just make sure that you, you know, put some butter on that bread, all right? Y'all know what that saying means? I don't really know what that means. It sounded nice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this means like just show them that customer service love, okay? <laughs> Put some butter on that bread. But um, uh, so <laughs> got distracted. I'm sorry, thinking about bread. But um, so yes, you want to reply first, okay? Because my hoping is that that person is still on the phone when they um. My hoping is that that they're still on the phone when I when I respond first, and then also face. Thumbtack's algorithm, right? Like I said, their business aspect, they want to be able to put the right service professionals in front of the right clients. So when, when your responsive time is really fast, you'll also get a nice little sticker on your customer view profile that will say high responsive time. And clients, you know, people don't like to wait on nothing. So they're gonna want to reach out to the people that's gonna respond the fastest, okay? So next one is customer service. Okay, y'all gotta stop being so mean, okay? I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not saying mean, that's the wrong word. But heck, you know, nice, good customer service nowadays is kind of rare. Like when, when me and my husband go out to a restaurant and we get really good service, we'll be like, wow. We'll be like, like surprised. Like, oh my God, they were so nice. Like why am I surprised when people are nice? Everybody should be nice, okay? So when you are responding first to that client, you wanna take the time to put their name in the message, right? Hopefully they don't have a long name, but you wanna take the time to respond and with their name, right? So if it's a name that's, you know, let me think, so like, uh, I always say the same names. Be like, hey, Veronica, this is Jasmine from so-and-so, right? Or hey, Veronica, I hope you're having a great day. When I am responding to a lead, I'm also like welcoming or, or you know, greeting them. Thank you, that's the word. I'm greeting them. So it's, hey, Veronica, how are you doing today? I hope you had a great weekend. Or hey, Veronica, how are you doing today? I hope, you know, I know it's hot out here in great Texas. You know what I mean? Something of that sort to make it a little bit more personable to where you can stand out against the crowd, right? And another thing on Thumbtack or other messages, if they leave you guys a preview message, like if they will state what they're needing, like um, I'm having a surprise six, sweet 16 birthday party for my daughter and I would really love to get a house cleaning done because I'm having out of town guests, right? So my response is gonna be, oh, Veronica, that is so nice, sweet 16 party. We would definitely love to be able to provide you with the cleaning before your guests arrive. Because that showed them that I took time to even read their message, because they took time to write it all. So I'm gonna take time to respond, right? And show that I care. I see that all the time. Or they'd be like, oh, I just broke my leg and I can't clean. Or, you know, I'm traveling out of town. Or my husband just passed away. I'm acknowledging whatever they're saying in that in that statement. Like your level of customer service needs to be like if the queen just came to your house and you're rolling out the red carpet. 
okay? That is the level of service that you want to be able to provide to them because they can feel that. Um, they always be like, smile on the phone, right? But now these lead generators, like you're just going to text them. So they need to be able to feel the level of customer service um make it more personable like we're totally here for you i would love to be able to provide you with a clean home right that way you're you're just making different ways to stand out against the rest okay so be overly nice like overly overly nice and provide very great customer service third one is follow-up i think we forget that following it like y'all you ever heard like i used to be in sales back in the day 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 and like following up is key y'all the the bag is in the follow-up because if they do get distracted and they're about their day and they and they do this and they do this and they do this then you want to make sure that you keep just not tapping on that door like hey i'm still here hey i'm still waiting on you following up is key with thumbtack i have a like a six i have like a six response like funnel uh, follow-up strategy that I have to where if they don't respond within the first hour, this is my follow-up. They don't respond within the first five hours, this is my follow-up. They don't respond within the first day, this is my follow-up. And I go all the way to seven, okay? Because one day they're going to need my service and they're going to see all these notifications that came from my company. Um, and don't be afraid to offer a discount if you are following up, you know, like, hey, I just want to just confirm if you're still looking for a cleaning service, I would love to be able to offer you 10% off if you're ready to book today, okay? So following up is key because that's going to send the notification. It's going to just send her a reminder that Miss Veronica, I know you're looking for a cleaning company. I'm over here. Following up is so, so important, you guys. If anybody's been in sales, you guys know that following up is key. You guys see your email box, all them doggone emails from everybody. That's, that is following up. Email marketing, email strategies is just following up. So you want to make sure that you keep following up with your clients because you've already paid for the lead. Once that lead comes into your inbox and you get their phone number and you get their email address or not the email, their phone number and their information, you paid for that. So you need to just take that information and make sure that you do everything within your power to close that lead. Um, now my bonuses. I guess I have two bonuses. I was just about to say that. Oh no, this is not the bonus. This is the so the fourth one. Okay, the fourth one is assume the close. Now I I know that sometimes people feel like oh, I don't want to be so pushy or I don't want to seem so aggressive. You guys, this is what sales is like. Okay, so you want to assume the close. You want to avoid opening the questions. Opening the questions look like, hey Veronica, I was wondering if you still want a house cleaning service. Oh no, it's okay. I'm I'm okay. No, you don't ask that question. Your question is, hey, Veronica, I just wanted to confirm, what time did you want your house cleaning service? What day would work best for you, right? So basically, I'm kind of telling her what her answer is going to be. Like, hey, Veronica, I currently have, you know, Monday and Thursday available. What day would work best for you? Or, hey, Veronica, I have a 3 p.m. on Thursday. Would that be good for you? Is that perfect timing, right? So I'm kind of telling them what they're, answer should be with that so you want to assume the close you don't want you want to avoid that that no answer you want to avoid those those open-ended questions to where they can respond with like a yes or a no you want to literally just tell them and assume the close in a nice way you can do it a nice way that's why i said customer service first so you can do it in a nice way, right? Like, hey, Veronica, I just want to um, go ahead and get you locked in. Can I please get um, your, can you please confirm with me your email address and the service address? And I can send you your booking link and we can get you locked in. I just assumed the close. I wasn't rude, right? She messaged me that she wants a cleaning service. So she's here for a cleaning service. I'm going to assume that I'm going to assume that I'm going to close this lead. Okay, so that's what your messaging sequence needs to look like, right? You need to first respond immediately. Next, you want to roll out that red carpet and you want to treat them like they are the queen of the Nile, okay? Next, following up. Don't be afraid to follow up. Don't be afraid to be a bugaboo. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, okay? 
and then assume the close. You want to just assume the close. Um, my favorite closing statements are those couple of ones that I've stated. My favorite closing statement is, hey, Veronica, can you please provide me with your, or can you please confirm your, uh, mailing, your email address and your service address so I can send you the booking link and we can get you locked in. That's boom, perfect, right? Um, another assumed statement that I make near like before I send that one is, um, hey, of course, I she's like they're looking for a clean. Hey, I want to get my cleaning service. I'm like, awesome. Um, what day and time will work best for you, right? That is just pulling her down the ladder of my assumed close statement. Or hey, I, what what day and time would work best for you? So that way we can I can get her in the conversation and let her know that yeah, we're gonna we're gonna close this lead. Okay, um, but my bonus strategy on Thumbtack, you guys, you guys will see, make sure that you are doing your due diligence and your pricing homework. You can look on the, on the customer profile view and you can see like what the price point of what your competitors are offering. Now you may go on there and you'll see like $90, $80, you be like, what in the world is going on? I'm not charging this amount of money but they're not either, okay? Um, or I hope they're not, because if they are, then, then they need to come take my course too, because that is way too low. But um, what, what, what the strategy is, right? So I teach that it's best to charge by, I don't wanna get into a whole nother video, I'm gonna do another video on this next, but it's best to charge based upon your um, size of the home. So if you're charging for, you know, 800 to 1500 square feet, then 1500 square feet to 2000 square feet, 2000 square feet to 25, right? You'll have those price points. You want to list the lowest price point on your thumbtack. So if your one one that is 900 square feet is a hunt is a hundred, then you want to list that price point. If your three two at 1500 square feet is 180, these are just random prices, you guys. Um, 180, then you want to list that price. You don't want to list like a 3-2 is typically 2,000 square feet. It'll be like, you know, 230, right? So you want to list the lowest price. But once that they become, you know, they come into your, your message and they're you're talking to them and you're communicating with them to close and they're asking questions about, um, Goodness, I'm like lost my train of thought. They're asking questions on, you know, their service. That price point is just an estimate, okay? So that is not your set price point. So when I'm doing my statement, like I said, what day and time will work best for you, right? I'm also asking, can you please confirm the size of your home, right? I'm saying, oh, hey, Veronica, I see that you have a three bedroom, two bath. Can you also, can you please confirm um, the, the square footage of your home or the size of your home? They're like, oh, okay, yes. My home is, you know, 6,000 square feet. Like, ah, right? Okay, well, yes. You know, <laughs> maybe that's excessive. My square footage is 2,000 square feet, right? But my price point on there is only for 1,500. So I'm going to let them know that, okay, well, based upon the size of your home, your price point would be this. Now, if I notice that there is a slight hesitation because we had been communicating back and forth consistently, you know, without a gap, now I'd be like, um, I would put my assumed close statement in there, right? My what day and time will work best for you. And if there's still some hesitation, I'd be like, I would love, then that's when I'm going to offer my discount. I would love to be able to offer you, you know, 10% off of your cleaning service, we can go ahead and get this booked out for you. Now, of course, that's a risk because yes, maybe my, maybe their gap was just there, they got distracted or they were doing something else. But my job is to still close the lead, especially a lead that I already paid for. And if I'm, I don't mind missing out that extra 10% because now I'm gonna make sure that our cleaners do an excellent job. I'm gonna make sure that my VA will do an excellent job with uh, converting that one off to a reoccurring client, okay? Another tip, you guys, I would probably recommend also with Thumbtack is don't put on there for reoccurring leads, okay? Because reoccurring leads are not guaranteed and you're paying a lot of money for that lead. I would just recommend just offering and saying that you offer just one off, one time cleaning. So one time standard, deep cleaning, move in, move out, but just one time. And then you have your strategy put in place 
to uh, retain that client as a reoccurring client versus off paying more. And they're like, oh, yes. And if you guys do a good job, I would love to have you back. Like, no, what? No, not for an extra $20, $30, like for that lead, like that, that amount could have gotten me another lead. And then I'm going to do our due diligence on the back end and retain our client. Okay. So those are my tips for today, you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, like always, drop them in the comments and I will come back and answer them. And then also get in that group um, so that way you guys can ask questions. And then we have our live Q&A on this Friday, last, on this Friday. So if you guys are um, available, come and join us and ask all your questions. But thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you guys, get in thumbs <laughs> okay? Because I'm telling you, Thumbtack is going to be able to provide you guys with a faster cash flow. Yelp, Google will take a little bit of time to build up. Thumbtack, as long as you have your profile set up and good, like, you know, like you optimize, you fully answered all your questions and you set that profile up correctly, you're going to make money from that platform. Okay. All right, you guys. See you guys next time.